It's been a while, huh? <laughs> so you probably don't know me. You know this channel. You're maybe friends with me. But either way, that's that's not the case. This video is more of a message. Message of what will be up to you. But I hope it's pretty obvious. Over the past... Around this hiatus I've had. I've been told multiple, multiple times about... What a dream stands for. What I should stand for. For what life for me should be. And I, I keep seeing the same pattern of... You know... The cliche where someone says, oh, you can't do that. Your dream doesn't matter. And that's fine. But the thing I keep seeing, though, is you have people that decided to listen to those people. And, yeah, they might be making a lot of money. They might be having the best job ever. But whenever I see those people, those adults, I don't see any joy. I see a marriage that isn't working. I see them living a life that is complete, and in the end, I, I just look back. I, I just see them looking back on their life, and the one thing that they look back on is, man, I wish I did that. I wish I went back to the times where, you know, I had my friends, me, we, we kept on going to the park and doing those stupid things, chasing down dreams that were impossible, but th the thing about a dream is it's dangerous in two ways. You got the first way where obviously you're going to probably fail. But the second dangerous way is... What if it doesn't? That's the most dangerous thing about this. What if it actually does somehow become reality? That's why people don't want you to chase your dreams. When I stopped doing YouTube for a while, uh, I mean YouTube to me is being able to express myself for who I am because being honest, whenever I go out, whenever I go to school, whenever I'm, you know, out in public, I feel like a ghost. I feel like I'm just someone just walking through and nobody can see me. I mean, oftentimes I'll even just say hi to people and there's no response back. This, I felt, was the place I belonged and, you know, that was, it was a while that I wasn't here. And, um, quite frankly, I was depressed. It was pretty obvious I was, and nobody else was there for me. I don't blame them, but at the same time, it, it kind of sucks, you know? So, when I was gone, I noticed you guys came to me. When I was at my knees, when I was at my hardest, you guys came to me and decided to help me. God, it's been so long since I made any form of video at all. My name is Parker. Some may know me by Orange. Hello, this is Leezilla4777. This is me trying to help out a friend. Okay, so my friend, Blue Digit. Alright, so I'm making this video on for Blue Digit. My good friend, I met. I believe I met him on um, Team Fortress 2, was he? Hello, uh, I am Austin Peters. Okay, this is Blue Digit. He's a uh, great friend of mine. Met him about, I guess you could say, a year ago. This is something important to me. I want to get out as soon as possible. This is where he just talks to us and talks about things, and it was really cool to see how passionate he was. He's a really good friend to me, honestly. Josh wants to make people laugh. And I feel that if he were given the chance, he would make a lot, a whole lot of people happy and inspire them. Always there to help somebody if they're, you know, feeling down or just need help in general. Something that I'd try my best to do, but probably wouldn't be able to do. He's still the same upbeat humorous person that I've known when I met him. He's been going at this for almost three years. Every day and night we'd go onto a Skype call and he'd tell me how much he appreciates everybody that goes and watches his videos. I was there when he had about 1,000. I, Once again, I would never be able to get 1,000 in my life. Never. Ah, it's not just that, oh, you know, I enjoy talking 
watching him is entertaining. Over the course of almost 600 videos he's gained, he's clawed his way up to 1.2 thousand subscribers. And I really don't want this channel to die. I mean, he's definitely one in a million, if not one in seven trillion. What do I think of Josh's dream? I think it's an amazing dream. A dream that I would never be able to have. He's a great person. I met up playing Counter Strike Global often. You can tell that no matter what he's doing, there's always passion and care put into every single video that he makes. And I respect that. He puts a lot of work into his videos. He works his ass off. And he still tries his best to keep up with things. This, this is why I made this video. So that way I can show that, that, that Blue Digit has a lot of has friends out there who will stand by his side and support him. In On a game, I don't remember which game, but all I can remember was that he was saying some really funny shit, <laughs> and I was laughing my ass off the entire time. His videos are like one, one of the few that I actually go to because it helps me, I guess, take myself out of the problem. I've never met Josh in real life. I've never physically seen him with my eyes unless video Skype calls count, but that's it. That doesn't mean that I still don't know who he is. You have no idea how much those videos meant to me. Because they, they literally inspired me. <laughs> when I'm supposed to be the one trying to help you guys, you have no idea. Knowing that somebody took their time to help me. Thank you. Thank you. It shows that even though this might be a screen, even though there, this is just a lump of technology, some object that we're just looking at from point A to point B, you could be halfway across the world from me. Yeah, you're still feeling emotion. Even though this is some emotionless object that you're looking at, that you're hearing out of, you know that there's another person on the other side that you're listening from. And I might not know what you look like. I might not know much about you. But I know you. Same way that you know me. You might, know not, you might not know everything about me. You might not see me in person. But you still know who I am. And that's just something magical about that. And you know, what, what they said in that video, I really do hope that what I do shows, that the passion that I put in these videos does show. Because, you know, when I'm making these videos, I'm always thinking, you know what, what's going to make that one guy in the back of the classroom that's always depressed laugh his ass off? You know, <laughs> that's what I'm always thinking, that I'm going to be honest. I'm always thinking, how am I going to get, and my, what's going to be my next goal? How am I going to keep doing this? I mean, this is one of the notebooks I'm literally reading off of right now that I put all my notes on. I mean, I already have, how many, 18 other notebooks that I've literally filled full of just YouTube notes. And as my friends have said, I mean, I, I'm that guy that, you know, you have people that, you know, I need eight hours of sleep. No, I get six. I just sleep faster. You know, I try my hardest to make everyone happy. To send that message of inspiring you guys, even if it's not much. Because I know what it means to not have someone there. To, to be kind of a ghost, to be a shadow around everyone else. And I, I know what that's like. But I, I don't want that to be for people. I want that... I want there to be some place where, even if there's someone that feels like they don't belong in a circle, that they can come here. I basically want to ask one question to everyone. Instead of just doing, I'm back, or, you know, inspiration, ooh, emotions. I want to ask you, what does it mean to be a YouTuber? Like, honestly, what do you think it means? There's obviously a bunch of answers. A bunch of them are probably right. But to me, I think it means symbolizing something. What do you symbolize? What do I symbolize? And yes, symbolizing something can be good, bad, fake, real, but I I don't want to be just that gamer guy, that guy that, oh, he screams. I want to symbolize somebody that is so determined, so ambitious, so delusional that he doesn't give up on happiness, on that pursuit of happiness towards making himself and everybody happy. Going for a dream that is probably impossible, yet still going for it. And the thing is, in the nowadays society, it's on commercials, it's on ads, it's in TV. Maybe not your Disney films, but you know what, I bet you everybody that's watching this right now, looking, it's just me and you, okay, imagine snow screen, I bet you, 
many times before you've been told you can't do something not like a slap in the hand oh you shouldn't be touching that i mean like you were incapable it was impossible because you weren't good enough you didn't have enough skill talent smarts what are that i bet i bet you you've been told multiple times that you were incapable of doing something I don't like people telling you that, oh, you should just be normal, you should just get a job, you know, try to live out your days, get a wife, kids, you know, you just just live the normal life. But the question is, what, what does it really mean to be normal? I want you to remember me as that guy that try hard to make everyone happy, even at the expense sometimes of his own happiness. I want you to know me as the guy that says, I don't care what everybody else has said. I don't care how crazy your dream is. But, you know, I want you to know that you can do it. Because I don't care what the other guy said. Because there's only two reasons that he's probably telling you that. One, he probably cares and he doesn't want you to fail. Or two, in the back of his mind, he knows that there's maybe a possibility that you could do it. That maybe you won't be the guy working for him. But you're going to be the guy that's still so ambitious that you're ahead of the clock. You're, you're, not, you're not working normal hours. You just keep going. I want you to know that. I want you to get up. Stop hearing all that stuff that they're saying. I want you to get up and do something about it. Instead of hearing what they have to say. Because it's bullcrap. Everything is. All that really matters that to me, what I think is happiness. That's, uh, that's all that matters. Because if you don't have happiness, if you just object, if you, if you just have money, then what's the point? Like, really, what is the point? Albert Einstein once said that normal results give you average outcome, but absurd results give you an impossible outcome. I believe that 100%. And that's when, you know, I say, I don't want to reach 1 million subscribers. I want to become a YouTuber. Everyone laughs at me, but I smile so much because I know that it's such a big enough dream that that's where I want to get. That that's a high goal. That that's something that would actually help me. Because if you said something, I don't want no ice cream truck, you know, results. I would actually want to go there. And I know you guys want to do that too. But think, I feel like people just keep telling you, you can't do it. That's impossible over and over and over again. And I'm tired of that. I feel like you're tired of that. I feel like everybody's tired of that. We're a community that literally scoffs at the idea of people telling us that we can't do things. Because we know in the back of our minds. Hell yeah. And you know, you, you could just click off this video. You could just go. You could just watch some other video and not even listen to this. But I want you to know from me to you that we can do this. We can make this insane dream. This insane idea that we could reach a million that we could actually make this channel something i want you to just think for a second what if that dream could be reality because it can i i know that if we all work together i want you to think stop thinking what people say that we can't do it that that's impossible i want you to think right here right now that we can actually reach one million if we could do it all tonight if we could all do it this week because we can so let's do it Let's make the impossible happen. Let's do it right here, right now. Because I know we can. Because I know even though people keep telling us we can't, we will. These stand. These goggles aren't just some cool persona I have. These stand for me looking towards the future. A future that might be so bright that my eyes can't even handle it. That's what these stand for. For us striving towards the stars. It might, it might be a while, yes. But you know, people said you couldn't go to the moon. And look where we are now. So. Let's get up. Let's make this dream happen. Let's get some grit. Let's smile. And you don't have to join me. You don't have to do anything. But if you do. If you do decide to help me on this insane adventure that we will, we might fail. Just know I will try my hardest every day. I will keep doing what I do. I will keep working harder than the other guy. I want you to know that. And I will try my hardest. To help you find your dream. And pursue your happiness. My name is Blue Digit. Signing out. And let's make this dream of coming out of here. Bye, guys. Woo! Blue Digit is back, baby. Woo! Woo! That was good.
Let's have a part two. Let's have a part three. Let's have a trilogy going on here. Don't shoot the face that <laughs> Bye, guys. Hashtag bring blue digit back. <laughs> Hashtag bring blue digit back.